Hello everyone. Welcome to this video series on Java Programming Lab. So this is the last program in the curriculum, which is about layout managers. So in this video, we are going to see a demo of layout managers and particularly flow layout manager. So before going to the demo, like and share the video and also subscribe to my channel for notifications on latest videos. So uh, let's go to Notepad++. Okay. First, uh, let me save the program. Mm, D, and I am saving the program as my layout. Okay. You can give any name, but I am giving my layout, and I am selecting Java source file and save. Okay. So first, we need to import three packages. Import. Uh, java dot awt dot star okay and then uh, java dot awt dot event sub package dot star and finally the new version of GUI components and containers java x dot swing dot star okay so these are the three packages that we need for this program so let me declare the class class my layout okay so i am going to create something new called a frame so a frame is like a like a window okay so for that you need to extend a predefined class called jframe okay and also since we are going to have event handling like clicking a button we are going to implement action listener uh, which you have already seen in the previous lab program event handling and applets okay same okay now first i am going to create a reference for j button class okay and also i want to add a label so i am going to create reference for j label j label jl and then I am going to write the constructor for this class. Okay. Uh, my layout. Now inside the constructor, I am going to write the code. So first one will be set size. Okay. So this is going to uh, give the dimensions of the frame, how much width and height of the frame window. Okay. So I am giving 500 width and 300 pixels height okay so these are the dimensions of the frame we are going to create next i want to display some title on the frame frame title bar so i am going to write set title okay and i am just going to write layout manager demo some title you can change it if you want next now i am going to set the layout by writing set layout and in the brackets i am going to write new flow layout okay so i have explained this in the previous video right theory theory video so this is the this is the way how you have to use set layout method next now we are going to create objects for these two references jb and jl so first the button jb equal to new j button in this i'm going to just write click here so this is going to dis uh, display a button which displays the text click here similarly add an empty label new label sorry it's j label not label okay now after creating the objects you have to add them to the frame by writing the method add add jb and add j okay now whenever i click the button the label should display some text okay so for that i have to register this button i mean this one jb so how do you register a button like this 
add action listener in the brackets you will write this the button object okay now i am going to write set visible so if you don't write this set visible your frame will not be displayed so to display the frame you have to write set visible and finally i am going to write one more method uh, set default close operation so this is the method name a big method name in the brackets you will write jframe dot okay i uh, am not this one yeah jframe dot exit on close so this is a constant name so exit on close is a constant which is available in J, uh, jframe class so you have to write like this okay so what does this line do is so whenever i click the close button of the frame what should happen okay so it is saying it should just close right that is the purpose of this line set default close operation jframe dot exit on close that's all this is the constructor which is over now we have to write event handling method which is available in action listener interface so let's add it so syntax is public void so the listener method is action performed you know that i mean you know this method from the previous lab program right okay so if you don't know please do the previous program and then and then do this so the class name is action event and reference ae okay so inside this what i'm going to do is i'm going to display some message in this label so i will write jr dot the method you have to use is set text so let's write something like button is click okay so that's all this is the listener uh, i mean um, listener method and after that just write main method uh, string args so in this we will just write new i mean we are creating the object for the frame uh, just write the class name my layout okay that's all that is the program so this is the whole program so let me save this and open the command prompt go to d drive because that is where i saved the program and write java c my layout dot java okay so there is a spelling mistake here mm, let's change it t e n e r now let's see again okay this time it has compiled now how to run it java space class name okay so this is the frame so a frame has this window it has some icon it has the title minimize maximize and close button and this is the space where you can add components so the component i have added is button and when i click this button you can see the label also button is click okay right so i will just run it again to show you so this is the frame okay so when i click the button the label is displayed okay so the program is actually over so let me comment out this line so i comment out this line so this line should not execute now if i compile the program and run it again let's see what happens okay it's compiled now i am running it ah so there is no button in the frame right so what happened okay so this is an exercise to you you find out why the button is not being displayed why the button and label are not being 
displays okay so that's it for this video thank you